Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, for the last few months, we've been talking about graphics that we use in Leading with Honor and their models. I'm a graphic person. I like to see things to help me understand them better. And so this month, we're going to talk about another one. And that one is about the paradox. Now, the paradox. We'll get to that in a minute. But, you know, it all comes down to situational awareness. Situational awareness as a leader is so important. You know, as a fighter pilot, we learned about situational awareness because you had to be aware of 360 degrees, not just laterally, but vertically as well. And you had to be aware of what your wingman or your flight leader was doing, what the enemy might be doing, what altitude you were, because it really changes a lot when you go from low to very high. Everything performs differently. So situational awareness was absolutely critical. Now, it's really critical for a leader too because this various situations require different responses from the leader. And you have to think about that. You know, uh, we really, I always think about the paradox thing as walking both sides of the same street at the same time. Well, almost the same time. But you've got to walk one side of the street and be tough, and you've got to walk the other side and be kind. A couple of months ago, we talked about mission and people, results, relationship, and how you have to adapt because most of us are wired for one and not the other. Your natural talents are for one and not the other. And so you have to learn as a leader to adapt and grow to some degree where you can do the other side of mission and people. Well, that's kind of a paradox, but there are others. Some of the ones that we talk about in our long list here, we have a long list of them. People focus versus relationship, results focus versus relationship focus, which we talked about here. Leader versus servant, strong versus vulnerable, in control, willing to delegate, visionary, practical, generalist, specialist, confident, humble, detached, and sensitive. So you see, to have all those behaviors, you're going to have to adapt. And most of them, uh, half of them, for most of us, are not real natural. So we got to grow and we got to coach ourselves to grow. So thinking about that, it, how do we do that? First of all, we've got to have situational awareness. We've got to be able to know that various situations are different. And I need to have the tools and responses to, for this situation here, and I need to have a very different tool and response to this situation here. And number two, I think you just have to sit down and reflect through that and review our list. That will help you. If you go through this list that we're talking about, it's going to be on our website. If you go through that list and then reflect on that, and leaders do need to do a lot of reflecting. You, you're busy. You're busy. You're busy but you need to spend time reflecting. Great leaders do that. And finally, coach yourself to adapt in the situation as appropriate. When you do that, when you need to frown, you frown. When you need to smile, you smile. But you don't frown when you need to be smiling, and you don't smile when you need to be frowning. And that will really help you adapt in such a powerful way. You know, I think of great leaders that I've had and worked with, and they always were able to be tough and direct and tell me when I needed to get something going, but they also treated me like I was somebody that I was, uh, they made me feel good about myself because they treated me as, as they respected me, I was worthy. And when you can do both of those, it really makes you a powerful and wonderful leader. You know, I think about Coach Kirby Smart here at the University of Georgia. He's won two national championships. He's only been a head coach for a few years. And he is so amazing because if you watch the games, when a player comes out sometimes, he gets right in their face, puts his arm around them, and chews them out. And a few minutes later, <laughs> when they do it right, they come back out, and he grabs them and hugs them. So he going from one situation where he's chewing them out to another situation where he hugs them, but they know he cares about them. They know he respects them. And so he can adapt to the situation. And uh, it's almost like a paradox, isn't it? When he hugs them and chews them out within a few minutes. I think it's a great example. 
I hope you'll check out the list of the paradoxes that we're showing here, talking about today. Reflect on that and then coach yourself to reach a higher level of behavior. You'll grow as a leader, you'll grow as a person, as a parent, as a spouse, and you'll be a lot happier. Well, that's it for today. Take care and God bless. See you next month.